I'm here with Luke Homan, who is the CEO and founder of Contenio and author of the Innovation Game. So look, look, we are at this point where we've got involved much more of the crowd, much more of our employees in decision making. Uh, and we've also got this situation where everyone's wanting to play games. And so how do we play serious games to make serious decisions? Well, and uh, the way that we do that is first we recognize that when people want to play, they don't want to play alone, they want to play with each other. Yeah. So we want to engage the crowd, but we want to engage what we call the tribe. Mm -hmm. which is about five to eight employees. And that, that's how we structure our companies, you know, the Amazon two pizza rule. Yeah. We want to make sure that that small team has an opportunity to play. And it's not just any kind of play. It's, it's not purposeless play or, or just having fun. It's play that actually can help the business solve a business problem and thereby move their career and their company forward. And so you've got serious companies doing this, like BWIN. Talk yes. a little bit about what you guys just did. Yeah, so BWIN.Party is a nearly a billion euro real money gaming company. They yeah. do sports betting and casino and they do uh, a poker and they had a portfolio prioritization problem. And the leaders... They had added, a list of this long. This, of, this long. And, like we all do. Like we all do. And, and the leaders were extremely enlightened because they said, look, we know how our traditional prioritization process works. We, oh. we have 16 leaders, we come together in a room, but we don't think we get the best results. How do we engage a larger number of our employees, our first line leaders, and get their opinions? And what about those gaps? So we organized a sequence of games. So it's not one game with a bunch of people. It's, it's a like sequence a tournament. of games. It's like a tournament. It's like a tournament. And you start with this big list, and then you start, okay, these items, and the winners advance, and you keep winnowing it down like a swim meet, like a tournament, mm -hmm. until, and what's interesting is employees love it because they're not fighting each other. They're trying to pick the winning idea, and the winning idea is the one that helps the business win. So that when they choose that idea, the business is winning. So they feel completely engaged. We've done some research with Karlsruhe Institute of Technology where they actually tested the degree of employee engagement from traditional techniques to our techniques. The traditional te techniques were under 50%. In terms of having fun, enjoying in, the process. In terms of engagement and enjoying the process. And yeah. in our techniques, it was 100%. Yeah. And we know that when people are having fun and engaged at work, they're producing a better result. And it's faster. I mean, that's the thing that's nice about it, because I mean, these can be just the most grueling, boring, expel, Excel spreadsheet, nightmarish meetings. Yeah, you hit, you hit a meeting where someone throws up a spreadsheet with 50 items in it, yeah. and you know, first, it's not going to be in an hour. And yeah. you know, even if you stop it after an hour, you didn't go through all the items, so you didn't get a good result. Yeah. By using that tournament structure, we can make sure that the number of items you're looking at can get done in an hour, and then have a higher quality result. And you can now start to involve customers. I was just talking to JSJ, one of our long-standing clients, and they're like, look, not only did we feel like this works so well internally, but they're thinking about, this Friday, they're talking about two of their major company customers, like Honda, getting engaged uh, so they can get them collaborative in the process of picking out what the features ought to be. Yeah, and for be. some of our clients uh, who have been doing games with customers, version 1 or HP, yeah. what they're also finding is yeah. that when they play games with their customers, they can identify differences in their customers, feed that result back to them, yeah. which enhances the relationship and the trust between the supplier and their customer because they're saying, oh, you're showing us things that we didn't know that about our own company and this is really helpful to us. And I think what's exciting is that you guys have games to do all kinds of things. You just have this one game, I think 30, 40 games to help with sales and... Yeah, so we have a set of games that we try to match to traditional problems in business. So we have games to help people set strategy, mm -hmm. we have games to help people generate new ideas, we have games moving into portfolio management to help people shape the idea so that they're understanding what the ramifications are and the relationships among items. We have games to prioritize and we have games to help improve execution. So, you know, if my team is slowing down, how can I help them move more quickly? So we have games across those lines of business and it's not one game, it's a portfolio of games and we just kind of line up the right game to the right problem. Yeah, when you see executives spending all the time secretly playing Candy Crush, you know, it's time. <laughs> or Angry Birds and Candy, you know, Candy Crush or Fruit Ninja. Yeah, they're, they're, they, and they want to do that at work. Yeah, and so why, rather than fight that kind of human desire, let's put it to work to solve real business problems. Absolutely. You bet. Luke, thank you for being with us. Thank you.